What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nate. I run the Instagram account, Raptors of Insta, and I recently started doing YouTube for fun on the side. My wife drives a Tesla Model Y, I've got a Raptor, and I've also got a H1 over there. Um, if you're new here, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. We are going to be taking out the Hummer, and we're gonna show people what it's like to daily drive a 1991 H1. So, we just cleaned the Raptor yesterday. We don't want to take it out in the snow, but we got a few errands to run. And since the snow is starting to come down and it's wet, we're gonna be taking this out. So, this is what it is like driving a 1991 AM General Humvee. Gotta let that warm up a little bit. Barely. Since it's snowing, we probably want to put the door on. Easy enough. <laughs> so the other day I was out here, I pulled it out of the garage and it had been about three weeks since I drove it. Uh, it was super cold outside and as I was pulling it out of the garage, something in the car popped over here and then white smoke started coming out. So it really scared me and it was too cold to be running it. So I pulled it back in the garage. Yesterday I got it out again, it was somewhat warm and it turns out my heater I don't know if the fuse went out or if some wires touched and electrical just went out, but my heater no longer works. So that should be fun for the winter. I'll have to get that fixed soon. In order to get the lights and the blinker working, you have to unlock it on the bottom, push the dial over twice. Now the blinkers will work, the horn will work, and the headlights will work. Now we are ready to get going. Put the brake down. Put it in drive, and we're off. The only bad thing about driving this in the winter is the windshield is flat, so everything sticks to it. Well, as you can probably hear in the video, everything is squeaky. Uh, this car's almost 30 years old, so it's old, but it's only got 10,000 miles and it runs awesome. So, I've had it for almost two years, haven't had any issues with it. But, knock on wood. Alright, now this is where the Hummer lacks, is it is slow. So when you're pulling out into traffic, you gotta make sure there's a pretty big gap because this thing is 0 to 60 in about 30 seconds. Not quite 30, it's like 25. There's a gap. Here we go. We're flooring it. And we're going 25. <laughs> and 30. And 35. Come on, baby. 40. We've arrived here at the bank and we're going to see if we fit. Ooh, it's going to be close. We're like inches. You see my breath? We had to turn the Hummer off because it was too loud and the bank teller couldn't hear me through the, whatever you call it, the monitor. The bank was a success. A little inconvenient because we can't fit through the window, but not a big deal. Now we are off to stop number two. We're gonna go to the pharmacy drive through see how that does. It starts up every time. Oh no. You 
You gotta be kidding me. We're literally stuck. This is the first time this has ever happened. Come on, baby. Hello. Hi, I'm in the drive-thru at the bank and the Hummer won't start. For real? For real. First time this has ever happened. Sorry, my car won't start. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. Oh, no, you're good. I need some help. I can try coming out there. <laughs> Would you mind? Yeah, yeah give me a sec. I, I feel so bad, sorry. No, you're good. Karma, jinx myself. <laughs> Whew, it's cold. Did you get it in a spot? I just rolled it straight forward, so now I'm just sitting here. I'm stranded, nobody's answering. Oh, he's calling. Hey. Hey, sorry. That's all right. Are you up to? I'm stranded in the Humvee. <laughs> oh, no. You're not gonna like what I have to say. You don't have your Humvee. No, Peyton and I both just tested positive for COVID. Oh. <laughs> Call Tony Salty Gears on speaker. Hello. Hey, Tony, it's Nate. Nate, what's going on, brother? So I'm out driving my Hummer right now, and I went to the bank, and I turned it off so that I could hear the bank teller, and then I went to turn it back on, and my car won't start. I assume I'll have to have it towed somewhere. Just didn't know if I could tow it to your shop, or if you recommend just yeah. going to yeah, a different well, diesel mechanic. Well, Go ahead and drag it down here and we'll take a look at it at least. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll call a tow truck and I'll I'll keep you updated. Right, right on, man. Okay, thanks, Tony. Hey, no problem, bud. All right, bye. Bye. Well, that was Salty Gears Off-Road. This is not a planned video, but Salty Gears is going to take care of it. And I'm going to call a tow truck, see what they can do. This is where it died. And the bank teller helped me push it out here. So now we're going to wait for a tow truck. Three hours later. Well, the tow truck finally made it. It's a tight fit. Real tight. <laughs> So what started out as a little trip to the bank and the pharmacy ended up in like a four hour ordeal. Not quite four, a little over three and a half hours. So hopefully we get it fixed up soon. <laughs> um, that didn't end how I was expecting, but we should have a, a word from Salty Gears Off-Road tomorrow and I'm sure they'll have a diagnosis on it pretty quick. Um, when we were pulling up on the tow truck, there was diesel fuel leaking and he looked up underneath and oh sorry that's really dark um he looked up underneath and it looked like maybe a fuel line had popped or fallen off or there's a hole in it or something he said he could see diesel fuel just spewing out so had a full tank of gas that's down the drain um but it'll be all right we'll get it back on the road soon we'll get it back and we'll do another video. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and we'll see you in the next video.